Here we are, getting ready for this showdown between these two fighters. Should be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing from Sheffield, England, an English super lightweight title holder, Dalton Thunder Smith. Hiding out of the blue corner from Victorville, California, here is the exciting boxing sensation, King Rai Ryan Garcia. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. I'm so giddy. So late. So We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. This is the kind of fight you expect from two world-class elite middleweights. How about that time counter shot? Can't throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You're gonna get knocked out. That hook just can't find the target. There was so much hype surrounding this match, I wonder if it can actually live up to the hype. Can you imagine walking into this club, walking into a room with such nice people chanting your name? You can't even hear your corner man whispering in your ear. I've been in situations like that where it can be terrorizing if you haven't got your wits about you. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. That punch landed. Swing and a miss with that hook. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. Punch, counter punch. Both men step back for just a moment. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good counter punching. Talk about Smith in that last round. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? And there's the bell to start the round. That last round was huge for him, Johnny. How does he keep the momentum going? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. This fighter's always on their toes, trying to get their opponent rattled, get them off kilter, get them out of their rhythm. Do not give an outside fighter time to think. You've got to make the fighter panic. You've got to rush the fighter into doing things they don't normally do. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other, because no one dare do anything out of turn. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Fighters completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. That hook was off target. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left.
Talk about Smith in that last round. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round. They ring the bell, and here we go. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Howard, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Continues to touch him up. Defense is not an option for these two. Nice counter. Unlike the heavier fighters, these fighters throw so many punches, it's hard to keep up. Jab not finding its target. Nice counter. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. Whoa, and you saw the balance go. And they're down. It looks like this one's going to be over. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your eagle's hurt, your chin's hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got... Not the best of rounds with 10 seconds to go. Punch, counter punch. Let's talk about Smith in that last round. Let's see. And there's the bell to start the round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. Swing and a miss with the hook. Beautiful counter punch. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers. Whoa, and you saw the balance go. The knees, the foundation, rocked. A true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they get into trouble, and that's what he's done right here. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Complete. This could be the end. Way through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. He couldn't seize the moment. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once, they know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense, work on defense, blocking and stopping and shooting. Now they've got to wake up, they've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. Not a lot of defense here at all. Might want to think of holding on here for a minute. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. What a massive upset this would be. Let's talk about Smith in that last round. After what we saw in that last... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is... If it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. One, two, three, four, five.
This fighter continues to show how much heart he's got, but the corner may have to intervene here. Look at, look at his corner. Look at the instructions. They're telling him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee. Save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow, get to the end of the round. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Why weren't they more cautious? Showing a lot of heart to beat the count there. He's up, but, but for how long? Look at that. On the heel, but look at it. There's nothing there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. He just takes one more clear shot. A clean one. Then he's out of there. A perfect counter shot. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. And he scores with the counter. He wasn't ready for that counter punch. Let's talk about Smith in that last round. Both men. They ring the bell, and here we go. Let's see how these two fighters respond after both got knocked down in the previous round. That is showing the fitness. That is showing the stamina. That is showing the hard work done in the gym. If you can get knocked down and get back up and knock your opponent down, they've got it. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Well, with welterweights, they sometimes bring you the best of both worlds. Fast hands and power. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights with a middleweight are oh, ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Skill being displayed here between these two middleweights. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Those counter punches have to hurt. They better very close round with 10 seconds to go. Smith in that last round. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far. And there's the bell to start the round. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Good counter punch. This fighter's certainly not going to out-throw their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Remember, with a lighter weight, you're expecting at least 300 shots around. They can let these shots go. They can move their fast, they shot. That's a hard night work for the referee. You don't want to trade shots. is seeing flashes after that shot. These two are the perfect dance partners. Looks like trouble was averted. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. 
It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What did they do? What did they tell him when he goes back to the corner? How are they going to get through this? Quick punch scores. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Got to let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive. Now. We're always looking for that KO, and we could see an upset right here. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it. 